Hey y'all, my name is Annalisa and welcome back to Homemade Sunshine. So I am really late in filming and getting this video up this week because I have been sick. Um, so everything's been kind of delayed since I've been sick this week. This is the most I've had my voice back. So if it still sounds kind of weird, I've still been like kind of having a cough and everything. So, but I'm gonna show you. So last week I went home to visit my family in North Carolina and um, if you watched my decluttering video, you'll hear that I went to um, a consignment store sale. I was going to go to a consignment store sale with my mom. And so we went, and this is a haul from that, but also we went to two thrift stores. So this is a laundry basket full of things that were thrifted recently while I was home. So I've got some super great stuff to show you guys. Um, I also wanted to tell you, so in my decluttering video, you know, I was going to take some stuff to sell. So I, um, between two consignment stores, made almost $200. Let me grab my one receipt really quick. So I'm not sure where I put the other receipt, but this one for the first store was the first place I took stuff to. Um, and for a total of 36 items, they offered me 118.87, which I only took 108 with me because I um, purchased a pair of shoes from them that day. So um, I got $10 of store credit. You can, if you're gonna buy stuff, you can use it for store credit. Um, but I, t they bought 36 items from me, and then at the other store, I wish I had the receipt because I can't remember how much they purchased from me. But I got about another like 70 some, 70, $80 from them. Um, so I took my items to the first store and then I repackaged it up to make it look nice again and took it to another store. So that is a super awesome thing to do with your day. Like my mom and I went to the first store in the morning and then we had lunch and then we went to the second store. I would, next time we would do it differently. We would go to the first store, then go to the second store and drop my stuff off and then eat lunch. So sometimes with these consignment stores where you drop your stuff off and they have to go through it and then give you the money, it takes a while. The first store didn't take that long because we got there like right when they opened at 10, dropped my stuff off and it was like all good. I was the first one and that still took like 45 minutes because I was, I had a lot of stuff, but we didn't mind to shop. And then the next store had a much longer wait because we were going later. So it's a very fun thing to do for a girl's day, but I mean, I mean almost $200 on just old stuff from my closet. So I highly, highly recommend that. I would totally do it again. And now I have um, yard sale money for the season. So enough talking. I will go ahead and start showing you guys some stuff. So it's mostly clothes, but there's some books and shoes in here also. So first thing, so everything I got at the consignment sale was about, um, we did the math because it, it was a fill a bag sale and pay a flat price. Um, my mom and I shopped together and we put all of our stuff combined in. So um, for us, the items, per item was about 97 cents, which is like, <laughs> that's better than yard sale prices. It's super cheap. So first thing that I got is this gorgeous Talbot's light pink um, tulip sweater. It's a petite, um, it's like a sweatshirt. Uh, I call it a sweater, it's not really a sweater. Um, it's more like a sweatshirt. But even though it's a petite, it comes at a really um, flattering length. It's not too short. This is super cute for spring. I don't know how much time I'm gonna have left to wear it because it's starting to get kind of hot here, but I absolutely love that. It's super cute. Next, I've already worn this, so I cut the tags off. Um, this is a White House Black Market skirt, I believe. Yes. Um, and this was a size small, and this is so gorgeous. Look how pretty this is. So I wear this pretty low on my hips, so it comes about to my knee. Um, I think it's meant to be worn like higher up, but because it's a small, it doesn't fit me like that. So I just wear it lower on my hips. I love these like sparkly dots in the little pleats because it just makes it look like, I don't know. It reminds me of like the ocean. Like it's all shimmery and glittery. I love it. So that is super, super cute. Um, and then next I got this, um, this isn't any fancy brand or anything, but this is just a really cute scarf. It's peach with these little, kind of like rose rosettes. Oh, it's actually from Aerie. I just now saw the tag. I didn't see that when I was in the store, but just a little scarf from Aerie. I always, I've always liked Aerie scarves. Oh, 
I guess I should show you what I'm wearing because this is, these jeans are from them. These are Lucky Brand. And they've got these cute little flowers embroidered on either side. They're like slightly cropped. So these are a size um, four. I usually wear a size two in jeans, but Lucky Brand jeans, I feel like I always have a hard time fitting into them. So I, I just bumped up to a size four for these for them to fit. So I got some jewelry also. This is not all of it, but this one was new. Richelieu Simulated Pearl. I'm not really sure what that means. It said $25.50 or $22.50 on the back of here, but it's these pretty kind of like brown colored pearls. I just thought they'd be so pretty. And for 97 cents, you can just kind of take a gamble like that and see if it's gonna work or not. Now this is so pretty, this bracelet. Um, it's one of those that has like a snap closure. Look how pretty that is. I loved this. So hilariously, I have a bracelet really similar to this. Let me grab it and I'll show you. So I have a bracelet that looks like this. So they're basically the same, um, but I thought I could stack them together and that they'd look really pretty on my wrist. Or actually, they, you can go put them together like that, but let me see. I feel like that would just look really pretty to have them stacked together. Whoop. If the magnets don't like to catch each other. There we go. I thought that would look pretty together. Kind of just like a stacked pearl look. So that's super, super pretty. And for five uh, for 97 cents, I paid $5 for this one when I purchased it. So it was still pretty cheap when I got it, but super cute. And then I just got these teeny tiny little earrings they're little bitty hearts with little blue stones in the middle. Super cute. I got this. I don't have a shirt like this, um, but I love a denim shirt in the winter. So this is for summer. It's made well. It's a size small. I could have taken an extra small in this if I was like buying it at a regular store, but I just tie it up um, to make it more fitted because this is a little bit too wide for me from side to side. But I still really like it. I've already worn it once. Very cute. So this shirt is really pretty. I was not sure if I was gonna like it until I tried it on, but um, this is a free people size. What actually says size six? I thought that said a small. Well, yeah. no wonder because it does not fit like a six because um, I've already tried this on. It is this beautiful like tunic length top and it has these ties. Where are they? Where are the ties? Oh, they come around from here and it ties in the back. And so there's this really deep V, which uh, of course I don't like wear a camisole with that, but it just looks really pretty. And I had a camisole when I tried it on and like this just looked so cute. So this is really good for those kind of chilly spring days, which are quickly running out here, but still very, very, very cute. And then this is another skirt from that sale. This is Lucky Brand. There's a lot of Lucky Brand stuff. I don't, I don't usually buy much Lucky Brand. This is a small. And this is this gorgeous blue wrap skirt. Oh my gosh, I love this. With these little, just tiny blue pattern. And it has a tie and very nice length. I absolutely love this. It is so, so pretty. Then... I got this pretty blue striped sweater. It's from Talbot's, it's an extra small and it's a little wrinkled, <laughs> but it's just this like gradient blue stripe. It's really pretty. I'm gonna love that for next winter. I just, I like a lot of blue. I love sweaters and I feel like sweaters and cardigans get like worn out so fast compared to other stuff. So that was super cute. So I think that's everything I kept from that sale, what we might we might find more since I'm just digging in this tub. Um, two things I got from a thrift store that we go to. Um, these, um, this store has half off clothing one day of the week. So they have a dollar rack. So the dollar stuff becomes 50 cents. So I got two pretty things from Target from them. This was a new day size small, just a pretty V-neck t-shirt. I think this will be really pretty color wise for fall. Just very cute, kind of oversized, slouchy V-neck. And then this is a uh, Universal Threads small, like long midi t-shirt dress. So it's super duper long, it has these 
short little slits on the sides. And it's just really comfortable. Very loose fitting, very just easy, breezy, beautiful. Um, absolutely love that. Oh, here's another thing from the um, consignment store sale. These are some um, Under Armour. These are actually a size medium, which is what my mom normally wears in um, shorts, but these were too small for her. You know how sometimes just you'll get something and the sizing is just off. So these are one of those. So these are much smaller than an actual medium, which I mean, if you look at that, that is not, not what a medium waist band looks like. So these are just cute little Under Armour shorts that I'll be wearing. I don't remember how much this was um, at the, this was another thrift store that we went to. So this is um, Peter Millar, E4 Wicking 50 UPF size small this pretty just like light blue pullover really pretty for summer I like to wear a pullover usually when I start working out and then I'll take it off this is another really pretty um, thrifted dress that we picked up this one would have been 250 from that store that does half off it's just a pretty Tommy Hill figure um, dress size 2 just nice and loose but it fits like really well on. It's very pretty. So I'll show you these two pairs of shoes that I picked up. First are these Adidas. Um, they're like a cloud foam. They have a memory foam insole. I wish I had shown what, like taken a picture of what these looked like before. They were so dirty. They were absolutely disgusting. I mean, and they have been worn. Like there is some wear on the heel, but they are so soft. I really worked hard and cleaned these up. So these were only $2.50. Absolutely love these. I'm just excited to have something nice and comfortable to walk in. And I wear an eight and a half in these, which is my normal, normal size that I take. So these are the shoes that I paid up for. These were $10, but they're Vionics. They're these beautiful pink ballet flats. These are also a size eight and a half. Only $10, $10. I love these. Um, they're still on the website, um, on Vionics website for I think 122 so I mean I was like what a steal I mean these don't even hardly look like they've been worn some people don't really like bionics because the base is kind of like hard and there's this big um it has a big arch support which not everybody likes I really like that but look like it even goes with my top today it's so cute I just love these um so yeah I'm super duper excited about that that's gonna be just absolutely incredible um Oh, and it looks like somebody, I guess the person who wore these added some padding to the back, which actually I like, so I will be keeping that in there. I say thank you, previous owner, <laughs> for adding extra padding. So next, I got a few Easter things. Um, this is the first one that's thrifted. So let me see if I can open this up. My mom wrapped it for transit, and I'll probably wrap it back up so it'll go back um, in storage for next Easter. So this is beautiful, this is vintage. It says to somebody, the bunny, 1952. So it's this little egg, but look how beautiful the top is with these beautiful painted butterflies. So it's just like a little trinket tray thing that, you know, will sit on a shelf. I just absolutely loved it. And it was really cheap. I forget how much it was, but it was not very expensive. So I thought that would be super fun. So, the last big sale that we went to was um, Hobby Lobby. Well, actually, I think I probably should show you the thrifted books first. So, I got quite a few books. This is all of them. Between two different thrift stores. Um, so, I'm very excited. The first one is The Zookeeper's Wife, which um, I know there's a movie out about this, but I've never seen the movie, so I'm going to read the book first. Um, about a wife, husband and wife who were zookeepers in Poland and how they hid um, refugees um, from the Nazis in their zoo, which is crazy. So, very excited about this. Very excited to read that. This is called um, The Chili Queen, which <laughs> I just think sounds cute. Um, this is about two women who meet on a boat train um, and how they're going, I think, to the same place. 
Um, so she, uh, they like, they meet up and they start hatching schemes and um, doing a whole bunch of crazy stuff. And so it just seems funny. I like, I like female friendship kind of books. Uh, this has a TV show, which I have not seen, The Astronaut Wives Club, which I love historical fiction and that sort of thing, but this is going to be interesting. This is about, um, I guess, I don't know if it's historical fiction or if it's just historical. I think it's fiction, but just about the women who um, were, you know, the first wives of these men going into space, which is just, I can't even imagine. You're like, yeah, propel my husband into space. Oh yeah, it says a true story, so guess it is, it's going to be all true. I mean, of course, I know that they're actual people, but I love looking at the pictures of them. They've got pictures in the middle of all of the um, families and the kids, and I just think that'll be an interesting time period to step back into. Then I got the 20 to 30 something guide, um, garden guide, um, a no fuss down and dirty gardening 101 for anyone who wants to grow stuff which I would like to start doing some container gardening. I don't know if I'll get time to this year, but at some point that'd be nice. So I thought I would read this book, see how it is. Um, most of the time when I got, get these books, the most I ever pay is $3, which is for hardback at some stores. And then the cheapest would be a dollar for paperbacks. Um, I got the Blue Zone Solution, which I have wanted to read this, Eating and Living Like the World's Healthiest People. So this is where they did um, some studies on um, where people live the most to be over 100 and like live the most to be over 90 and be active still, um, which there's five places around the globe. I forget where all of them. One is Okinawa, Japan. One's Acaria, Greece. Um, I think one place is in Costa Rica. Uh, oh, here it is. Acaria, Greece, Okinawa, Japan. Okinawa, Japan, Sardinia, Italy, Nicoya Peninsula, Costa Rica, I'm probably saying that wrong, and Loma Linda, California, which I know the most about Loma Linda, California, because um, it's like a big hub for of Seventh-day Adventist, which my husband and I are Seventh-day Adventist, which is why I'm like very interested in this. Um, Seventh-day Adventists tend to live on, I believe the statistic is we tend to live on average 10 years longer than most Americans. Um, so, Loma Linda, California has a large Seventh-day Adventist college, so there's a lot of Seventh-day Adventists that live in that area. Um, so, I just thought it'd be interesting. I mean, I know a lot about, like, from the Adventist side of it, of, like, why we tend to live longer. So, I think it'll be interesting to read more about what other people do in different parts of the world. So, a lot of it is diet, which they focus on, but a, another good part of it is also... Um, like social and emotional bonds and community and like mandatory day of rest. Um, like Seventh Day Adventist Saturday is mandatory day of rest. Um, you know, the strong social and community family ties. Um, there's no smoking. Uh, most Adventists don't drink. So there's a lot of different, a lot of different things that contribute to, um, you know, eating and living like the world's healthiest people. So I'm interested to read more about that. Now this is a set of three books. I really like um, the Sweet Potato Queens series. I purchased one book from them and started reading it and I realized it was not the first book when I thrifted it. So these are the Sweet Potato Queens Book of Love, which I believe is the first book which I'll be reading. The Sweet Potato Queens Field Guide to Men, Every Man I Love is Either Married, Gay, or Dead. <laughs> which I thought was kind of funny. And, uh, yeah, you'll just have to read this one because it's got a swear word in it. But I think this is going to be just super duper funny. I'm really looking forward to reading those now that I've actually got the rest of the series. And this last one is Overjoyed Devotions to Tickle Your Fancy and Strengthen Your Faith. I love The Women of Faith, which this is them on the back. I've read one of their books before, actually last month, which you'll see in my book Unhaul. I absolutely love these ladies. I think they're super awesome. So when I saw that they had another book um, at a thrift store, I picked it up. So last but not least, I know this video is getting long. I will show you what I picked up at Hobby Lobby. So last Friday, my mom and I went to Hobby Lobby and they had 90% off of Easter. So I picked up a few things. 
So first, I picked up, these would have been 19 cents. They're these rubberized, like, plasticky placements that say Happy Easter. I love these, and especially if you have kids, these are awesome. Awesome, 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 because you can really easily wipe up spills. I got this set of little dish towels. So there's this set and this set. This is originally $9.99, so it been 99 cents on 90% off, which is a super great deal. And then I got one of these eggs. It looks like it's supposed to be like a Ray Dunn, but it just says bunny, just to keep that out. It's super cute. And then I got two little light sign things. This I'm gonna hang up all summer. It's just a little rainbow and I love it. Rainbows remind me of God's promises. I love that. And then this is just says Cottontail Fields Sweet Shop Jelly Beans Candy Eggs and Chocolate Bunnies. So super duper cute. And then, oh, I didn't tell you how much those were. The rainbow was 49 cents and the little metal sign was 29 cents. And then this was 99 cents. This is just says hippity hop with little bunnies. And they're so cute. I just thought that'd be super precious and I like their little velvet bows. And then I got this little truck with a little bunny butt. And this was 79 cents. So these were all just like, I mean, super cheap. I like to, all, I pretty much only buy Hobby Lobby, like seasonal decor on 90% off. Um, Cause most of their stuff, I don't feel like Hobby Lobby's decorations are like super duper high quality. But when you buy it at 90% off, if it breaks, your heart is not broken. So that is all I have for you guys today. Um, hopefully I sound better in next week's video. Um, but I hope you guys ha have a super great Mother's Day and have a great weekend. I'll talk to you later. Bye.